Have you ever wondered how to take your Tableau visualization to the next level? Well, today we are going to explore Tableau's Wiz extension, a game-changing feature that was rolled out in Tableau version 2024.2. With Wiz extensions, you can add custom visualizations like Senke charts, super table, network charts, and many more directly into your Tableau worksheets. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create Sankey chart using Tableau Wiz extension, which is a powerful addition that allows you to visualize complex data relationships and flows, making your insights more dynamic and engaging. So without any further ado, let's get started. Let's start by opening a Tableau desktop. So first of all, let's connect to the data source, connecting to sample Superstore data set, but you can use any data set you want. So once we are connected to the data source, you will see this blank canvas. So now we need to create a Sankey chart. So how we can do that? So first of all, we will go to the mark selection. And when you click on this drop down, you will now see a with extension section at the bottom. So you will click on add extension. And here a pop-up window will appear where you can see all the different extensions like Sankey chart, super table, tree diagram, and many more. And you can use any one of them. But for today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Sankey chart using Wiz extension. So let's simply click on this Sankey chart and open it. So once it's open, you will see under the mark section, Sankey chart is selected and you will see here level, link, details and tooltips. So we want to show the Sankey chart relationship between, let's say, categories and subcategories and we can include segments. So what we need to do is simply drag the categories to levels and you will see the level section is created and you can add multiple levels. So let's say we, instead of subcategories, let's use uh, segments. We bring it into level and this is a simple Sankey chart created with the relation between all these categories and segment. But let's say I also want to add sales because right now it's showing me the furniture category is linked to three segments. The first one is con uh, consumer, corporate, and head office. But I also want to see how they are related in terms of sales or profit or quantity. So let's bring sales into link. And you will see these relationship. The size of that is increased and showing the thickness of these lines is showing the sales number. So for example, for furniture, which is linked to consumer, the sales is 394 grand. And the one which is linked to corporate is 231 grand. And the thickness you will see it's reduced. And the last one is 128 grand. So that way you can see how it is linked. You can also change and add the profit in there and you will see how the profit is linked. So office supplies and technology are the most profitable categories. So that way you can show the relationship between categories and segment. Let's say I want to add another layer. So in this case, I want to add ship mode. So I will bring that into the level section and you will see the third layer is created. And if you want to create multiple layers, you can do that. You can add manufacturer as well. And you can see how you can create multiple layers. You can select individual lines and you will see how it is link to all these layers. So you can remove the tooltips if you want, if it is bothering you. So I will simply hover over and you can see how it is linked, but you can add the customizable tooltip. And if you just want to show the profit numbers, you can just hover over like that and change the tooltip. And when you hover over, you can see how the profits are linked for this particular section. You can also format this extension by clicking on the format extension button. And before that, let's let's try to remove manufacturer because we have so many layers. So let's just simply remove it. And then we click on format extension and you will see the pop-up window will appear. And here you can see there are different sections. So level appearance, behavior, labels. So let's start with level appearance. So you can see the width of these levels, this section, you can increase or decrease from here. So if I do 200, 
and you will see how it will change. So the thickness of these levels has changed. And same way you can change the level padding. You can increase it to 20 and you can see the gap between individual categories is increased. So let's keep it to minimal as one. And same way the edge padding, the edge be between these two lines and the category will increase. So if I change it to 20 and you can see how the gap is increased. So that way you can adjust the formatting the way you want it. And also you can select ignore null values by just clicking on this button and you can align edges horizontally. You can adjust that. And then if you don't want to show the labels, you can uncheck that. And so the labels at the header, you can remove that by just clicking this. And even if you don't want to show the labels on these category section, you can uncheck that and it will disappear. So let's keep it as of now and you can change the font and size and the colors from here. So let's keep it, let's change the color to this one. And then you can also select the color palette for all these sections. So you can go here and select tablet default one or you can simply go to the blue light color, which doesn't seem good. Let's change it to green divergent color so you can adjust and format the way you want it. So that's how we can create Sankey chart using Wiz extension in Tableau. I hope you guys like this session and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out by commenting on the section below. Thank you.